Colo got love for the kids. The kids love Colo, man. That kid pulled up on me. He was like, can I hold your drone? I said, no, you can't hold my drone, man. It's very expensive. And then he ran to his parents. He was like, I want a drone. And his parents were just looking at me like, why'd you do that to my kid? And I'm like, hey, he's going to be bugging their parents about that damn drone until Christmas time. He'll probably get one, though. Yo, what's good, guys? Today we are doing the Jordan 4 from Kiku. And I know I just kind of jumped right into it because this one's a comparison video. And I don't want to take that long to make these and keep you guys in here. So we got 190 in the price tag. I don't think that's supposed to be that way. White, fire, red, black, tech, gray. And, you know, I, I was just thinking the other day when I got these, I was like, man, the Jordan 4 is almost my favorite Jordan of all time in this colorway because this was like the hardest colorway to get back in the day. It was like they just didn't exist. And when they originally released back in the 80s, which I wasn't old enough to really enjoy, I mean, people were getting like shot over these things. It, it was crazy. Um, but anyway, we're just going to go look through the shape of these really quickly, and then I'll bring out the retail pair that I have and we'll go from there. So just looking at the shape there, that's a familiar cut that I've seen on a lot of Jordan 4s. Doesn't matter if it's UA or retail. Um, there's the, the skinny arm, that's just how it was at that time. So that's, that's accurate. And the speckles, the speckles are what's in question when I look at these shoes. Now, if you look at the one to the left, there's like no speckles under the swoosh. And I, I think that's where, we'll look at that again later. And I think that's just the right shoe of the Kiku shoe. And on the black light, there were some things. Not a lot, but there were some things. I'll get close-ups of those here in a second. And let's see what we got here. Something on the toe box that's very, very small. But the, the marks are there. I can't say there's no markings. There's no stamps. But there's markings on the toe box, on the heel. And they're really tiny, like they almost had them cleaned up but they couldn't get it all off. There's some in the bottom as well. Now, here's the comparison, and this is a retail pair I have right here. And it, these are 220. That's what I was thought. I like, I paid 220 for these, I think. So let's go ahead and pull these out the box. And I'm glad I put sale laces in there for some reason, because uh, it's gonna make it easy to identify these moving forward. And I, yeah, I got the receipts still. It's, look, how, look what happens to these receipts, man. Okay, 236 with the 110 off. Okay, I had that 110 gift card, boy. All right, see, I miss those days, man. All right, we got the tag to the right, it's oxidized. That's the older one. That's easy to tell there. And we're going to take a look at the left shoes first. And there's two things I didn't like. I didn't like that little crack on mine and that little crack on the top. I've always hated that with my pair of Jordan 4s. It was just like, they just came like that. I, I really hate it. But I just kind of dealt with it over time. And now we got the kick hoop pair to kind of see if it's if it's any better and it is like if like those same flaws were on this um this, this ua pair people would be like oh look at that it's it's done so that's actually poor craftsmanship on that retail pair and these got slammed back in the day like i think these came out like 2014 or something like that they got slammed and look at the tongues the tongues are a little different in shape now the speckles are the the biggest telltale sign right here like <laughs> like you could just it's like whoa I don't know if it's supposed to be that way or what, but I don't know, man. And look, if if you look like at this pair right here, there's like no speckles. So I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. But looking at these again, the Kiku pair has a V cut too. Like if you look at this, there's a V cut on the right. It's interesting. The bottoms, well, you'll know which ones. And here's the cuts. Just looking at that little cut right there. That's a very familiar cut. That's the Kiku pair. Now, that's the retail pair. This is the left shoe still. And the Kiku looks better to me by shape-wise. That's the Kiku pair. That's the retail pair. That's a lot more speckles, man. That's way more speckles. All right, so let's look at the right shoes. Again, that V-cut in the back. And the grays, those tech grays even look a little different. There's something different about that cut of the Kiku shoe, too. Like, it looks kind of... It looks kind of off if you just kind of look at it. You might have to run that back to look at them again. But around that toe box shape at the top, they just look kind of twisted or something like that. That's the retail pair. Very close to the black rubber part. Very close. And that's the Kiku part. And it reminds me again of this, this university blue. Like, I see that cut a lot. And that's even the left shoe, so that's interesting. Inside the collar, there's that Air Jordan. 
And you notice the Kiku pair has a bluish tint to the left. Retails a little dirty, oxidized, you know. Just looking at the tongues, the skinny arm jump man. So you see what I'm talking about? It was just like that back then. And somebody explained that to me. My man General had to explain that. I was like, oh, it was like that. But again, I'm just showing you guys the cuts and the speckles. Like there's, when you compare it, it's like, well, where are the speckles? And I don't know, maybe the fours were the speckles weren't identical. I'm not sure, but it's less than the retail pair. I don't know. So we got phone, check. Cheez-Its. Check. Shoes for the day. Come on. Shoes for the day. Check. Glasses. Check. Yo, what's good, guys? What's good? What's good? Um, today, got to hit up Castle Rock. Gonna go make a donation to my guy Karim. You know what I'm saying? Donating all those sneakers in the back to a very, very good cause for all the uh, people that um, may not have sneakers. So I got to run up to Castle Castle Rock today, and it is. Beats, Eats, and Sneaks day. So I got to run up there, run back down here, um, put these on. It's going to be the shoe for today's review today. Put these bad boys on. And then at the time of filming this video, I'm like four videos behind. So you won't see this video. What is this, Sunday? You probably won't see this video till like Tuesday or Wednesday of the following week. So I'll put a date on it or whatever. But um, let's hit the road, man. Let's hit the road. I think he's already up there at Castle Rock waiting for me. And it's, it's kind of like a little drive for me. So let's, let's hit it. Let's hit it. <laughs> Dang, I, I like I like just woke up guys like I just woke up There he goes. What is he drinking? <laughs> he made the video man. Now you gotta say something this time Yeah <laughs> Where are all the sneakers going? I, t I told them I was um, Donating them to a foundation I'm gonna donate too. Okay, it's not gonna be a foundation because it's just two pairs Right. I'm gonna give them like to somebody who's like in the street, just looking in need for him. I used to do that, but I ran out of time, so he's gonna do that. So they're going, they're going for a good cause, right? Follow this guy. <laughs> he's awesome. No, follow this guy. He's awesome. Trust me, there is nothing special about me. Nothing follow special about me. I just make sneaker videos, dude. That's it. Well, that's that's, that's something. All. That's something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people are making sneakers video, but you're making it from the heart. You're making it. From I like the that. Background. I am. I. I'm for making the love. it from the heart. It, it is for the love. You hear that, guys? See? It's not for the money. It's not for retail. No. All that bull thing. No. Sorry about the word. But you can cuss. It's okay. Go yeah. peep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's follow cool, this guy. He's awesome. Yes. He's on point. Yes. He's a good human being. I appreciate and he, all that. All the support that we basically can give. I love, he speaks highly of Comac as well, too. I wish Comac would have been with me. He's working like three jobs. No, Comac is my guy. He's my favorite, <laughs> favorite guy. His vibe is, um, he's, he's interesting human being. Like, he makes you laugh for no reason. <laughs> he is, he is. If you want to do this. I appreciate that. Whenever he's putting his videos, as you can see, he's not asking you to buy things. He's just giving you an op opinion about it. And tell you, you know, at the end of the day. Because the socks. People have been asking about the socks. So I, I think I get the socks. socks. See? You know See? the cola? The, co the cola one? Yes. Because it looks like Coca-Cola yes. version thing. Yes. But it's cola. I just thought it looked cool. It looks nice. And I was like, I want a pair of socks. I didn't know you guys would want them. But since you do, I'm going to get a website up. I guess this is me committing to it right now. So I'll do it. It's not hard. It's not hard. Like you said, making a video is harder than getting Let's a website. Let's vote. Let's vote. Everybody who's re like basically They're gonna say ready to it. buy some. Ooh, ready Let's to buy. I like ready Let's to buy. Let's do it. I'm, I'm buying five, but it's not going to be the same socks, though. I want him to work hard and make different <laughs> I'm gonna socks. I'm going to have different colors. They're going to be colors. different colors. This feels like a lot of pressure. Well, success needs pressure. Right. So you open it. Okay. Oh, it's one of those? Then, you know, those plastic parts, you can just go over here. Do I have to do that in the back? Or no, you just don't. do like, okay. You don't. This dude gave me an Apple, an Apple mask, guys. And it comes with test too like look at this it's just good you didn't wear that going in the store did you I, you did i'm just used to it you know all right oh I shut the drone hello okay what size do you need uh nine and a half, nine and a half. Hey, Sonar, can you check if we have a nine and a half in the car mines, please? Let's see what we got here. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me.
was dope. That was dope. That was dope. Like, went up in there, found those car mines, you know, my Apple mask, being responsible. You know what I'm saying? These are dope, though. Like, I'm, I'm going to keep this packaging. And I ran to my dude, only Tev. Like, I wanted to go to his uh, pop-up. But I, and he was working, you know what I'm saying? I didn't put him on camera because, you know, he was in his work mode. I didn't want to do the bro like that. Car mines on deck. Um, a little expensive. They, was, they, they wanted retail for him. So it wasn't like I got a hookup, it was like they was just there. But the next clip that you'll see is probably me at Beats, Eats, and Sneaks with the fours on, probably with the same clothes on, though. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, I feel like Kyrie, you know what I'm saying? All right, guys, we've had a change of plans. I am out here on, the, on a highway exit. And somehow I got a front flat tire like I don't know how this happened but it is indeed flat like if I can just get some air into it it looks like it might be okay check it out see I don't see where it's torn but I need to get some Ooh, and it stinks too I need to get some um, all right I might have to have it towed man I was almost home man damn Yes, has a damaged tire, yes. If your car is two-wheel drive. Well, there's really no number, it's just, it's a... Uh... Maybe to know your current location. The Jeez, only thing guys. that you can do is uh, open the link. I don't know about this one, guys. The... It's crazy. They need to let me talk to somebody that's actually driving the truck so I can tell them where I'm at. What's... You were able to receive this message? I was able to receive messages, yes. I'm going to place your hold two minutes, please. Two minutes hold, and I'm having a feeling he's gonna send the truck to the wrong spot. Like, I'm in a weird spot on an exit. I'm not on like a normal spot, you know what I'm saying? But here I am, and I still gotta go to Beats. I was about to be on time, now I'm about to be late. Like, see, this is. Like, that's what I'm looking at. That's, that's, that's what I got. I'm looking at that. I'm on hold in the passenger seat of my own car. You know what I'm saying? The driver's seat's over there. Luckily, I'm cool, though. Like, I just ate, unfortunately. It was it was like a party coming back. I was, like, having a great day. I'm going insane right now. Like, the sound of the freaking hazard lights, the whole music. I've been on hold for, like, another 15 minutes, so it's like... So, uh, just please wait uh, until you get this, this help. So, I don't know if you have another question. Well, if they do charge, you just get your seat. I was having a good day, but... No, I think, I think today's just one of those days. Yeah, I was supposed to you get back. You know, when you just wake up and you're like... Yeah? It's going to be one of those days. Right, That's I was going to go felt. yesterday, but I was like, I'll go Sunday. It's no big deal. And then I was watching the Chiefs. <laughs> that was a sad game. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately. I was, I was going for the Chiefs. Yeah. yeah. I'm a big Mahomes. I'm not necessarily a Chiefs fan, but I'm a big Mahomes fan. Oh, yeah. And he just, he's not been with it this year. I don't know no, what the deal is. I don't know if it was the last Super Bowl thing or what, because that really took a shot at him. His ego, everything. Like, that, I mean, of course, who he's going against, who he's going love, against, but. I love watching him play. Oh, he's, he's good. He's a man. He's got a lot of years ahead of him, too. Healthy. He took a good hit, though, today. His Did head he? snapped back. And then the TV like took the game off. They put a different game on. Oh, okay. They're like, mm, but they were gonna lose. She was nice. Here we go. Just got the car dropped off, and when he dropped it off, um, we need to, you know, back it up a little bit, cut it on, back it up. The car was dead, so I don't know if I had the car on too long or what. So now I'm trying to jump the car. And we got this hooked up to this. Still dead. All right, I guess I gotta let it charge up or something. 